In Jesus' final week, there are three major players. First, there's the crowd. These are the people that have seen his miracles, who have heard him teaching, and have spread the news far and wide. Recently, Jesus has just performed his greatest miracle. He has raised Lazarus from the dead, and the crowd is spreading this news like wildfire. Second, you have the religious leaders. Jesus poses a threat to these guys' authority, popularity, influence, and because of that, they've been trying to lay hands on Jesus for quite some time, but he has evaded their grasp at every turn. And finally, you've got the Romans. Now, the Jews have been under Roman control for quite some time, and the only thing the Romans care about is maintaining peace and control. And because of that, they have had to come in many times and put the Jews under their thumb. They've had to squash rebellions, and most importantly, they have made examples out of many religious fanatic leaders. It is into this volatile setting that Jesus fulfills the words of Zechariah 9. He makes a bold statement by riding into the heart of Jerusalem on a donkey. And the crowds, the crowds love it, and they begin to chant, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The religious leaders, as they see the crowds cheering for him, are infuriated and seek to kill him all the more. And to the Romans, Jesus just went from a person of interest to a religious fanatic leader. Jesus has now set God's final plan into motion. And in just a few days, the crowds will chant, crucify him. The religious leaders, they'll get their way. And the Romans? The Romans will both grant and perform the crucifixion of the Son of God. This changes everything.